We will bury you. Russian, my vas pohoronim translate. My vas pokoronim is a phrase that was used by Soviet First Secretary Nikita Khrushchev while addressing Western ambassadors at a reception at the Polish Embassy in Moscow on November 18, 1956. The phrase was originally translated into English by Khrushchev's personal interpreter Viktor Sukhodrev. History While addressing Westerners at the embassy on November 18, 1956, in the presence of Polish communist statesman Wladyslaw Gomulka, First Secretary Khrushchev said, "...about the capitalist states, it doesn't depend on you whether or not we exist. If you don't like us, don't accept our invitations, and don't invite us to come to see you. Whether you like it or not, history is on our side. We will bury you." The speech prompted the envoys from 12 NATO nations and Israel to leave the room. During Khrushchev's visit to the United States in 1959, the Los Angeles mayor Norris Powelson in his address to Khrushchev stated, We do not agree with your widely quoted phrase, We shall bury you, you shall not bury us, and we shall not bury you. We are happy with our way of life. We recognize its shortcomings and are always trying to improve it. But if challenged, we shall fight to the death to preserve it. Many Americans meanwhile interpreted Khrushchev's quote as a nuclear threat. In another public speech, Khrushchev declared, We must take a shovel and dig a deep grave, and bury colonialism as deep as we can. In a 1961 speech at the Institute of Marxism Leninism in Moscow, Khrushchev said that, Peaceful coexistence for the Soviet Union means intense, economic, political and ideological struggle between the proletariat and the aggressive forces of imperialism in the world arena." Later, on August 24, 1963, Khrushchev remarked in his speech in Yugoslavia, "...I once said, we will bury you, and I got into trouble with it. Of course we will not bury you with a shovel. Your own working class will bury you." A reference to the Marxist saying, the proletariat is the undertaker of capitalism." Based on the concluding statement in Chapter 1 of the Communist Manifesto, "...what the bourgeoisie therefore produces, above all, are its own grave diggers. Its fall and the victory of the proletariat are equally inevitable." In his memoirs, Khrushchev stated that, "...enemy propaganda picked up the slogan and blew it all out of proportion." Some authors suggest that an alternative translation is, we shall be present at your funeral. Or, we shall outlive you. Authors have suggested the phrase, in conjunction with Khrushchev's overhead hand clasp gesture, meant that Russia would take care of the funeral arrangements for capitalism after its demise. In an article in the New York Times in 2018, translator Mark Polizzotti suggested that the phrase was mistranslated at the time and should properly have been translated as We will outlast you, which gives an entirely different sense to Khrushchev's statement. First Secretary Khrushchev was known for his emotional public image. His daughter admitted that he was known for strong language, interrupting speakers, banging his fists on the table in protest, pounding his feet, even whistling. She called such behavior a manner, which suited his goal, to be different from the hypocrites of the West, with their appropriate words but calculated deeds. Mikhail Gorbachev suggested in his book Perestroika and New Thinking for Our Country and the World that the image used by Khrushchev was inspired by the acute discussions among Soviet agrarian scientists in the 1930s, nicknamed Who Will Bury Whom, the bitterness of which must be understood in the political context of the times. Topic in popular culture Khrushchev's phrase was used as the title of Jan Sejna's book on communist Cold War strategies and of a comic book. The phrase also appears in Sting's song, Russians. It provided the title to a 1962 documentary Wheel Bury You released by Columbia Pictures. The quote, paraphrased as, We will bury them, was used as a taunt in the video game Command and Conquer, Red Alert 2, in which the Soviet Union wages World War III against the Western Allies. This event inspired a card in favor of the USSR in the Cold War-themed board game Twilight Struggle. In issue number 12 of Brian K. Vaughn's Why, The Last Man, a Russian character shouts the phrase when she believes she's being attacked by enemies. This is also referenced by a worm in the SpongeBob SquarePants episode entitled Rock a Bye Bye Valve in the 2017 film The Death of Stalin. Khrushchev shortly after Burya's execution delivers a similar statement to the later speech by telling his corpse that he'll bury Burya in history. 
Topic. See also. Kuzma's mother. Shoe banging incident. Topic. References. <references>